money, Brian. There it is, $32,000. Brian C. Chris, letter carrier from uh, Byron, Minnesota. Now, Chris, did you know he was this smart? I did. Yeah, smart guy. <laughs> well, look, I think you're doing fine here. You've got two lifelines uh, with you. You've got the phone a friend and 50-50. You've won $32,000. We're going for 64. We're just five away from a million. Let's play. All right, Brian, take a look. Here's the $64,000 question. In 1967, what rock band appeared in the first live worldwide television show broadcast by satellite? The Who, The Birds, Cream, The Beatles. 1967. The Who, the Birds, Cream, and the Beatles. Well, obviously the Beatles were huge. I'm not sure when the other three became popular. I know it was in the 60s, but whether it was that early. Um, I think maybe I would like to use my 50-50 lifeline. Want to narrow it down to two? I think so. Okay, Brian, sure. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the right one. Birds and Beetles, 1967. use the phone a friend lifeline not sure about this huh just not positive who do you want to call I think I want to call Jim and who's Jim Jim's a, a co-worker of mine who knows quite a bit about music in the post office yes all right fine our friends at AT&T will get Jim on the line see if he can help hello hello Jim yes Regis Philbin calling from New York City hello Regis how are you fine Who'd have thought that one day I'd be talking to two letter carriers from Byron, Minnesota? But here that? I am. And there you are, Jim, and we need your help, okay? Okay. Brian is here, needs it. Uh, he's going for 64000 so he's going to come on the, the line and read a question and two possible answers. One of them's the right answer, okay? Okay. All right, Jim. Brian, it's all yours, 30 seconds. In 1967, what rock band appeared in the first live worldwide television show broadcast by satellite. Is it the birds or the beetles? I, what do you no, think? I'll have to guess uh, the beetles. The beetles? Just a guess. Just a guess. Not feeling too good about it? Not really, no. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jim. Um, we'll give her a try. <laughs> You're not going to lose anything here. All right, you That's, know that. That's in the back of my mind. I think uh, I think we're gonna have to feel good about the Beatles. Uh, I think Jim's got a good idea. I think we'll go with the Beatles. Final answer. Final answer. Tough to turn them down, wasn't it? You were right for sixty-four thousand dollars. You know, it almost was too obvious, wasn't it? So it that kind of backed you away from it. Seemed too easy. Well, we're four away from a million. All the lifelines are gone. We've burned up two of them on that question. Here it is now for $125,000. What state did Robert F. Kennedy represent in the U.S. Senate from 1965 to 1968? Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New York, Maryland. Well, I... I know there was quite a controversy, and I know it relates to the Senate race that's going on this year, and I'm pretty much positive it's C, New York. Final answer? Final answer. You had 64. 
You got 125 now. Here you go. Okay, we keep going here. We're three away from a million. We're looking at a quarter million dollars. Should you uh, miss here, you'll be, you know, you'll lose 93,000. But you're a calm guy, you know what? <laughs> I've been through a lot, Regis. <laughs> Putting the mail in the, the post box? No, no. After you've had four babies at one time. Yeah, I'm sure. That's right. You're absolutely right. That'll do anybody in. All right. $250,000, my friend. Let's look at it right now. Which of these movies incorporated elements of the Shakespeare play Henry the Fourth? Ron, my own private Idaho, a thousand acres, Fargo. You know, I thought of myself as a movie buff until I saw this question. Seems like every time they want to stump someone, they pull out the Shakespeare. Or the Beatles. <laughs> or the Beatles. Well, that's too, yeah. Uh, at this point, I don't have a clue. And I think I'm more than happy with what's happened so far. Well, we're happy you, uh, you won it. Uh, you want to make that your final decision? That's my final I know you're reluctant to, to give it up, but... All right, so you won $125,000. The correct answer is my own private Idaho. All right, Brian. Here it is, $125,000. Good luck to you, okay, buddy? I'll bet everybody in the country was pulling for that young guy to win. Anyway, for that young family with five kids, four of them quads, I'm sure they'll have no problem spending that $125,000. Good for them.